My wrist hurts. Hello everyone, hello friends. I am back with shenanigans. I'm aware of how pale I look. So I grew up calling shoes in which you run around the town in tennis shoes, uh, which is just a weird way of saying tennis shoes. Uh, and then one day I was telling my boyfriend, ex-boyfriend now, get held. Hey man, put on your tennis shoes. And he goes, those are my sneakers. And I'm like, all right, but uh, you still gotta put them on. And he's like, why is that? Why do you call them tennis shoes or tennis shoes? Um, you're not playing tennis. And I'm like, that's a good point, but why do you call them sneakers? Like, that makes no sense. So here we are, the good year of 2021. Why do we call our outside shoes these things? Now, if you did a quick Google, you would know yourself, but instead you're watching this video. So uh, let me educate you because everyone knows that the Otter by Autumn channel is much better than Google. All right, so let's get into our time machine in 1931. Well, actually, let's go to the time machine of 1930. We're going to 1930, everybody. 1930, the good year of 1930. Sounds like the Great Depression to me. I did something to my wrist while banging on my bed. Anyway, we're in 1930. In 1930, there was no such thing as a rubber sole yet. No, sir. Only wooden soles or whatever else they had. So these shoes made a click, click, click on the floor. Only clickety, clickety, clack shoes and no, no rubber soled shoes. But then one day, some dude, I didn't bother to look up his name. I'm assuming he's a man because it's 1930. Said, hey, let's make a shoe for tennis players to make them better at tennis. Da 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 da, the rubber sole was born in 1931. Eventually they put them in children's sizes and um, children would be playing tennis as they do. And after tennis practice or tennis games, they were just like, I ain't taking these off because they're comfy. Because I'm a kid and I prefer a rubber sole, a rubber sole over a wooden one. And you might be thinking to yourself, Autumn, it's a, a good way of telling us why we call them tennis shoes still to this day, which clarifies that a rubber sole shoe is from the descendants of the OG tennis shoe, but why do we call them sneakers? Well, let me tell you. My parents are making fun of me in the other room. You hear my father laughing at me? One day this will pay the bills. <laughs> no, it won't. Now they get to listen to their 23-year-old daughter make YouTube videos in her purple room. Well, I'm gonna continue my story despite them laughing at me from their bedroom. Ha 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 ha. Now I gotta redo my hair. Boop. A little better, must say. Mm. Any hoodles. Ouch. <laughs> this is a message from Future Autumn to please like this video and subscribe. So you got these kids coming back from the, their tenor, tennis shenanigans and they were, they were like, you know what? I think I'm just gonna keep these shoes on all day. So then they go back to their expensive homes because kids that played tennis back in the day were rich and they'd walk around their hardwood floors and they wouldn't make a sound. Because since they had a rubber sole, there was no click, click, clickety clack like there was with the wooden sole. So then parents have quickly made the nickname for their children or their children's shoes sneakers because they're sneaking around. Because parents would be like, oh my goodness, what the heck, you're behind me now? Because their shoes would simply just not make a noise. Kind of like how the traditional wooden sole would. Da -da -da -da. The nickname for the tennis shoe became the sneaker, which honestly, I think it makes more sense because you're not always playing tennis with a tennis shoe. Now we got actual tennis shoes for tennis that are better than what it was before. Blah, 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 blah. I'm still gonna say tennis shoes. Tennis shoes because I'm from Pittsburgh. So kids would be sneaky, sneaky babies whenever the when the rubber sole first came out. Therefore, sneakers. Of course, different parts of the United States and the world calls them two different things. Like, you know, even like people who are selling like shoes be like, this is a sneaker. And sometimes they say, this is a tennis shoe, even though it's not actually a tennis shoe. But um, yeah, I also saw whenever I was Googling this real quick um, that uh, inmates in prisons would call the warden sneakers because they also had a rubber sole and that you couldn't hear them come around the corner and catch you in the act or something of the sorts. And that's what I said. All right, everyone, I hope you enjoyed this video. That's just a little something something I have. I'm sure I'm missing something. Cause honestly, I did this research like three years ago and I just kind of recapped like 15 minutes ago. But any hoodles, like this video if you did. Don't, if you didn't, subscribe to me. You'll get more of me. All right, everyone, have a really good day. Bye-bye.
like this video and subscribe.